Memory palaces are a great tool, but there's one thing I found that's really useful in mastering your memory palace and making all the locations stand out. Now, usually when we create and go through a memory palace, even in reviewing, we start at the first location, right? So maybe it's that um, desk right there. Second location might be this toilet or bathroom. And so we go through at the very beginning and go to the end, right? And maybe the end is this uh, table over here, okay? So that's what we do. But what I like to do is to go backwards. I start at the last location and work my way all the way to the front. So maybe the table is the first or is the last location. And then maybe the sink is the second and so on. Now, why would I want to do this? Why would you want to do this? Now, let's take something like the ABCs. We all probably learned that by repeating something over and over and over again, right? Maybe it was a song or just the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So when we say it, we're not seeing anything. We're just saying the different letters and that's it because we know it by heart. But with a memory palace, you actually see your different locations, right? When you're learning something, you see the location that you're placing your images and stories in. When you're reviewing, you're picturing your different locations in your mind. So going backwards is not really natural because this is not the starting point, right? This is the last location. The first location is over here. But when you go backwards, you're going to find a little bit of a, of a resistance because you're like, wait, okay, this is where I'm going backwards. I'm not used to that. But you really clearly picture all the different locations because you really want to make sure you're not skipping anything going backwards because it's easier to make a mistake. So when you go backwards, you get a bit a better feel for the location itself and the connections between locations. Now, some people might just jump from one location to another. I do that, but like subconsciously, I know where I'm walking through within the house or the, or, or the palace. It's worth kind of explain, but say this is the second or the second to last location. I would see myself going all the way over here, boom, to the next location. I would see that, I would have that feel. It's kind of hard to explain the feel, but it's, it's just kind of there. And when you go backwards, you get everything, all those different feelings, all the different locations to really stand out. That's why going backwards, when you recall your memory palace, is a fantastic way to really master it and get all those locations as clear as possible. Now, I recommend you know, switching in between, you know, because you're not going to be memorizing starting at the very end. You know, if you're memorizing all the presidents of the, of the United States, uh, you're not going to start at the very last one and go backwards, right? No, you're going to start at the first location. And so mixing it up between going forward in your memory palace and going backwards is a great way to just to always keep your palace ready because it is a tool and you want to make sure it's the best it could possibly be when you need to use it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.